Let's talk a little more about Body 2.0 in today's Lenten vision. I'll introduce you to a man named Marv Bestman, retired bank president. He had surgery at the University of Michigan Medical Center to remove a pancreatic tumor. And that night, alone in his hospital bed, he was sleepless and racked with pain. All he wanted was to sleep, to escape the discomfort. And suddenly, he said, two men walked into my hospital room. And don't ask me how I knew, but immediately I had a sense that these men were angels. They gathered me in their arms, and we began to ascend through the bluest of blue skies. And I was suddenly deposited on solid ground in front of a monumental gate. And now, I don't remember it being pearly. I saw color bursts that lit up the sky way beyond the northern lights that I had seen in a trip to Alaska. And the music that I heard was incomparable to anything I had ever heard before. The most lush and beautiful music I've ever heard. And my old geezer body felt young, strong, fantastic. My pain and the limitations of age were just gone. I felt like a teenager again, only better. You know, it's just striking how often people who have near-death experiences recount that same feeling of incredible youth and strength and health. Thousands and thousands of people from all walks of life all over the world say basically the same thing. Now, we all know the feeling watching a child and marveling at their energy and vivacity. They just keep going. We might even muse if you're old enough to. I, I'm not, but some of you are. Muse with George Bernard Shaw that youth is wasted on the young. As we age, so many simple things get harder to do, harder to enjoy. I think St. Paul knew that feeling. He said in Romans chapter 8, we know that our present sufferings are not worth comparing to the glory that will be revealed in us. We know that the whole creation has been groaning as in pains of childbirth, awaiting the revealing of the children of God. And we ourselves groan too. You see, Paul has glimpsed that future, that future restoration in soul and body and all creation. He's seen the new creation. And today's sufferings are just birth pangs that lead to the new life that is to come. We can walk through our suffering with Jesus, knowing that, knowing that he is living proof. I mean, we've seen his suffering. We've seen his resurrection. And when you see Jesus on Easter, you see your own destiny. And I've been blessed with excellent health in life so far. But I think of my dear friend, Will York, who has struggled with severe allergies his whole life. And in his late 20s, he was in a mountain biking accident that left him paralyzed from the waist down. He lives in a wheelchair, in pain every day, uh, searing pain and disability. Nothing is easy for my good buddy Will. But you know what? These are just birth pangs signaling the approach of new life. Someday, like Marv Bestman, Will will be gathered in with the angels. He will feel strong and whole again. He will he will rise in body 2.0. And then the day of resurrection will come when God's will is done literally on earth as it is in heaven, when the two become holy one again. And we will be as well, like Jesus in body 3.0. Now this hope will get you through your birth pangs, your suffering today. Mother Teresa said, in light of heaven, 
the worst suffering on earth. A life full of the most atrocious tortures on earth will be seen as no more serious than one night in an inconvenient hotel. Folks, that's today's Lenten vision, and I'll see you tomorrow.